You guys, I don't feel like I can give a proper intro for this review. Aquaman and the Last Kingdom was a rough film to get through and it honestly left me feeling deflated. This film in its entirety felt pointless, weightless, and should not have been the one to end the DCEU. So to begin, the plot felt all over the place, trying to tackle so much while only having a runtime of two hours. Speaking of the runtime, although the film was only two hours, it felt like an eternity. I checked my phone at the one hour and 10 minute mark and was dreading the remaining 54 minutes. At the one hour and 10 minute mark when I checked my phone, the couple in front of me actually left and never came back. Now moving on to the visuals, they weren't necessarily the greatest and at times reminded me of the visuals from The Flash. I will also say that some of the visuals felt like they were trying to capture what Avatar had already accomplished last year in the way of water. But, trying to look at the positive though, I will say that Jason Momoa continues to be his charismatic self in the role, which is always enjoyable. Randall Park was also a great addition and I'm so glad that he got to shine in this role. In regards to Yahya Abdul-Mateen, I felt he was built up to be the big bad only to play second fiddle by the end. Lastly, for those wondering, Amber Heard is actually pretty present throughout the whole film, which was surprising to me since so many thought she'd be cut completely. But, to give my final rating, I'm giving this movie 2 stars out of 5.